welcome to another episode of our billet block build. So this week we've been up to a bunch more fabrication work, including the expansion tank and a catch can. And we've started on the electronics package. So we'll go over all the bits in more detail now. So last week we have showed you the beginnings of the catch can and header tank setup. We've now um, braced the two together. We have continued to weld the fittings onto each, each of the units and we've placed it in its final location in the engine bay. We are now just waiting on a few more components to finish that setup and then run all the lines. We've also started working on the alternator relocation. So we have used an IAG alternator relocation kit, which had to be slightly modified to clear the electronic throttle body. That has been done and it's all installed and fitting now. Hiding behind the header tank, we have installed a bunch of uh, fuel system components. So including the ethanol content sensor that has been mounted behind there. We've also fitted the radium fuel pressure regulator and run the lines to the fuel rails. We've also fitted a fuel pressure and temp sender. This car is going to run permanently on E85. So we've still opted to install a ethanol content sensor just in case the E85 that's going in here is of a lesser quality. So the ECU can have some compensations and account for the lower octane rated fuel. And we've also fitted that fuel pressure sender. Um, it's been installed to always monitor fuel pressure, which allows us also to have further compensations and to add safety features in case the fuel pressure drops for whatever reason. <laughs> Being this very precious and expensive engine, we want to do as much as we can to protect it, to monitor it, so it can run for a long time and any potential issues are detected very early on. For the electronics package, we have made a start on mounting our Imtron ED5 dash, which will sit in front of the original cluster. We've also made up uh, the CAN communication lines between the dash, the ECU and the CAN keypad. Prepare the bracket and install the bracket for the CAN keypad in the center of the vehicle. And we've made a, a selection of what sort of uh, functions we are going to run through those CAN keypad buttons which will include anti-lag launch control and a number of buttons to control the dash and flick through the menus. We are also running a CAN Lambda module in this car, which is the Mtron ELC1, and we have wired that up as well, so that's ready to go and to be installed in the car. In this particular case, we are mostly using the ELC1 to monitor the air fuel ratios on track and it will allow us to data log those values as well. That's it for this week's update. Uh, next week we're going to continue with more fabrication on the downpipe, uppipe and turbo side of things. And we are going to continue with the electronics package and start to install the Imtron components. Thanks again for watching and please uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and see you next time.